this whole thing gets very, very tricky because with social media, you can create content and someone else can share it, edit it, cut it, you know, make comments about it. And all of a sudden your content becomes someone else's content. And then that content can become someone else's content. I mean, this has got to make an incredible web of messiness if someone yeah. wants to claim anything in this kind of a process. It is. It can be a combination of copyright infringement issues if you're actually lifting work and trying to pass it off as your own. And we might see that in the case of imagery more so than we will probably see it in copy or in, in perhaps video. But you know, there are a broader set of issues on social media related to the content that's used. And remember, when you're making commercial use of any kind of content, that's advertising. It doesn't matter if you're doing it on a billboard or in an Instagram post or in a TikTok video. So not only are we appropriating creative work for commercial purposes, which means there's no fair use defense under the copyright law um, for us, but we're also potentially misappropriating a brand belonging to another. We're potentially misappropriating publicity rights of an individual. And if this is a well-known influencer, hmm. may have their own claims based on using their likeness for promotional purposes. So it's a multi-layered challenge. It's not only the intellectual property, which invokes trademark and copyright, but it's publicity rights of individual influencers. 